Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, we're back today with another match preview. Swansea City versus Bounds preview. The final game of 2019. Fingers crossed we can end 2019 on a positive note. But all we can do is find out. Today, I'm going to be previewing it, like I've said. Giving you my thoughts, my opinions on the upcoming game against Swansea. Travelling down to Cardiff. I've also got two other YouTubers that um, I've gratefully come onto my channel and I'm also going to be going onto their channel so I'll leave their links in the description so go check them out they'll be giving their thoughts on the game as well as me and giving the score predictions so thank you to them too and let's just get into this preview as you guys know I rarely do previews so if you do enjoy this preview give it a thumbs up subscribe so we 10 subscribers of 1.8k and I want to hit that before 2020 which is in like not a lot of days, so if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Swansea City coming to this home fixture for them off the back of an away defeat to Brentford, where they suffered a 3-1 loss. Ollie Watkins on the score sheet for them, I do believe. A 3-1, Andre Ayew scored for them. Um, very good player, he's one of their key players as well, which we're going to get into. We come into this fixture off the back of a very positive game, and we should have won, in my opinion, against West Brom where we drew one all, um, was equalising in the 90th minute. So we're coming off positive, they're coming off negative. And um, their home form hasn't been the best recently. Their away form is better than their home form, which is always a positive for us. We recently played these guys earlier in the season, um, when they travelled down to Oakwell, where that resulted in a one all draw. Um, a game that could have gone either way, from what I can remember. It was a bit ago, they could have won it, they had chances, we could have won it. We had chances, but on the day, I was relatively happy with a one-all draw against Swansea. As they are a very good team, I do believe they're two or three points off the playoffs. So coming into this for them as a home fixture, they will be looking to get the three points. Also going into this as an away fixture, hoping to cap off 2019 as every other team, as pos positively as possible. Um... Like the West Brom game, I'll be happy with a draw, as after this game we've got Huddersfield and Derby coming up, who are down there in the mix with us. So a draw would be ideal for us. If we could avoid losing, that would be great, but it's going to be a very tricky game, as Swansea, are, like I've already mentioned, have some very quality players in their side. Um, they've got a very very strong outfit. Key man, Andre Ayew, scoring... 12 goals, 9 in the league, I do believe. Our top scorers, Woodrow with 9, Chaplin with 8. So hopefully they can get on the score sheet as well. They've also got quality players like Borja Baston, Sam Surridge, uh, Selena and Van der Horn at centre-back. They've got some good players and they're a team that are looking to get into the playoffs like many others and they'll also be looking to get the three points against us. Like I've already said, I'd be happy with a draw. I do believe, in my opinion, it will be the same score as the reserve fixture. I reckon this one will, will be a one-all draw, but all we can do is wait and find out. Like I said, it's going to be a very tricky game. Swans are a good team. Unfortunately, I'm not going to this game tomorrow, but there will be a video, a review, after giving my thoughts, like I did for the Millwall game. There will be a review for that. And then after Sunday, I've got a 2019 review video which is one of my best videos i made in time uh took me ages to edit so if you would stay tuned and watch out for that that is out on the 30th of december and then on the 31st of december is a 2020 review talking to you guys what's going to be happening what's going to be changing all the stuff that i'm going to be doing on bounds on tour in 2020 so if you could watch out for them too if you could like and subscribe that would be amazing like I've already mentioned, I've got two guys coming on the channel. I've got Pure Swansea City FC Vlogs, which is a joint channel with two lads. And then Reese, who is also another Swansea vlogger, like Pure Swansea FC. Um, two very good uh, Swansea vloggers. Pure SCFC does deserve a lot more subscribers than I think than I um, than they have. Sorry, they're just short of 400. So if you want to go over and subscribe to them... Are you a Swansea? You are a Swansea viewer and you don't know the channels. Click on their links in the description and go subscribe to them. Two good lads, three good lads overall. Um, deserve the views they get. So uh, thank you to them for collabing with me as always. Their clips will be after this. Their YouTube names will be on the screen. All that good stuff. So thank you for watching guys. Let's hope the Reds can travel to Wales and get the three points. Like we unfortunately didn't do against Cardiff. But 
we'll wait and see. Um, if you do like my new mic and stuff like that, trying to improve everything for you guys, the better quality, all stuff like that, that'd be amazing if you could let me know. Drop a thumbs up and yeah, I'll just pass you over to these guys. Enjoy what they've got to say. Right, so hello to everyone on, uh, um, on Taylor's channel, where obviously Swansea fans, as you might remember, we featured on his for the reverse fixture at the um, uh, earlier half of the season, which was a one or draw, as you remember, and he's asked us to come on, and he's also featured on ours, so go and watch that as well. But um, anyway, yeah, he's asked us to give a brief preview for the, um, for the game, so I'm going to start off with my, my thoughts. I think it's going to be a really... Uh, um, a really tough game for us. Um, we just come off the back of a 3-1 defeat to Brentford and we need to bounce back to stay up in the top six. Um, and I think you, you're maybe just outside relegation um, and or maybe just in it, but you need to pick up some points as well to make sure that you um, that you um, ensure that you stay out of there. Uh, I know you had a good result against West Brom, a one or draw uh, against West Brom, which is a really good result because we lost 5-1 to them. Um, but yeah, so you had a really good result. So yeah, that's my thoughts. What's yours? Um, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a tight game for us because um, our home performances haven't been that great. Even though our last home win, I'm pretty sure was against Middlesbrough, which we won three one. Um, and yeah, uh, performances haven't really gone our way recently, and obviously we need to bounce back from that um, three one defeat to Brentford, which was a horrible game. And obviously you've got a good uh, draw to West Brom, so. Yeah, it'll be a tight game for us. Obviously, uh, you're really hoping to try and stay up, really. And um, we're trying to hopefully maybe get a playoff place, but it doesn't look like we're really doing that. But, um, yeah, I think it'll be a tight game for us, and I don't think there'll be that much in it. Yeah, so now on to Danger Men that you need to look out for from us. So I'm going to say with Andre Ayew. Um, he's got five goals in four games. He's scored in four games in a row now. Uh, he's a terrific player for us. He's on 11 goals all season. Uh, nine in the league, so is, you definitely need to watch out for him. Would you add anyone else? Um, I'd also say uh, Mike Van der Horn. I think he's a very key defender in our defence. Um, he didn't play against Brentford, unfortunately, due to injury in the in the um, warm up. But um, yeah, I think he's a yeah, yeah he's, a key, he's a key part of our defence. So I'd also say him as well. Yeah. So my prediction. So uh, I'm gonna say I am gonna say three one Swans win. Uh, it's not going to be easy. I think it'll be a tight first half um, with no goals, and I think the second half where all the goals will come. I think Barnsley will go 1 0 up and well bounce back then and get three goals. So for Barnsley, I'm going to say a goal for Connor Chaplin, and for the Swans, two for Andre Ayew and one for Sam Surridge. What's your prediction? I think I'm going to go for a 2 0 win. I'm not trying to be too cocky or anything, I'll be confident, but I think uh, even though home performances haven't really gone our way, I still think you know we're at home. In front of all our fans, we we should really be getting getting a win. So um, yeah, I think we'll win two one, uh, two nil. Sorry, um, and I think um, I will get a goal, and yeah, I think I will just get two goals. Yeah. So um, thanks to Taylor for having us on. Yeah, um, cheers, mate. Subscribe to his channel. He does really good. Um, he does really good content. And if you could subscribe to us as well, it would mean a lot because yeah. we're four off four hundred and we're trying to hit that by the end of the year. So yeah, cheers. Yeah, cheers, lads. Right, Swans away this year for the Barnsley and Tour YouTube channel. And I'm going to give my perspective of Swansea City uh, from a Swansea City perspective ahead of the game against Barnsley. Um, we've been on pretty average form recently. I think in our last four games we drew to Blackburn, we beat uh, Middlesbrough and Luton, and lost to Brentford. Obviously, Brentford very good side. Um, the one real performer for us at the minute, Andre Ayew. He's a very key man for us. Obviously, a very good player. Costs us twenty million pounds in the Premier League. If he's got eleven goals this season, he's had like about four or five assists. So he's a very big player for us. And um, you'll have to really stop him, but he's really hard to stop this season. Uh, defensively, we're struggling. We've got we've got two of our best centre halves out injured. Joe Rowland's been out for the majority of the season. And Mike Vanner won't pick up an injury in the warm against Brentford, so both of them will be out. So it'll be two youngsters, Ben Wilmot and Ben Gabango. I think Wilmot's only 20, Gabango's only 19. So that's a very young defence and it'll, that'll be hard for uh, us against the likes of Corner, Chaplin, um, the Cabernet, Collywood draw as well. So we've got some good players there. Uh, Alex Mowat, is it? I think he's going against us in uh, October. But prediction, I'm going to go for a one, no, two on Swans. I think it'll be a tight game, but I can just see us nicking it. Uh, goal for... Goal score for Barnsley, I'm going to go for uh, Corley Woodrow, and for the Swans, I'm going to go for Andre A. No, I'm going to say AU, it's a bit boring every week going for AU. I'm going to go for Surridge uh, and Kalulu, why not? 
Um, so make sure you go and head over to my channel, Swans Away Days. I'll be vlogging the game. And I swear, Shreve Barnsley win, you'd want to check out. So go and check out my channel, Swans Away Days. And also, uh, uh, also Barnsley and Toes on my channel as well. So go and check that out. Cheers, mate.